Welcome Machiavelli. Hello my lord. You wanted to talk me? Yes. There are important issues that I need to consult and ask you. We cannot ignore what you have done for this city and your achievements. Your opinion is very important for these issues. Here I am listening to you, my lord. As you know, our country is in very difficult times. Only a successful leader can save the country from this situation. However, there is no such leader at the moment. I want to save the country from this situation. What are your suggestions for me? What kind of a leader should I be to save the country from this difficult situation? My lord, I am also aware of this situation. Florence has been in dire straits since the French king's invasion. At the same time, there is no leader who can ensure Italy's unity. My suggestions for you to be a good ruler are, you should take the great rulers who lived in this land before you as a role model for yourself. Especially the leaders of ancient Rome. Like Augustus or Constantine the Great? Yes. My other suggestion is that you have a good command of the art of war. Knowing the art of war will make you better prepared for your enemies. A good leader strengthens his authority with the battles he wins. Also, a good political leader should not hesitate to use religion. Using religion effectively increases the leader's influence on the public. For example, it prevents the leader from looking rude, immoral, and impulsive. This is not honest and ethical behavior. Why do you find it appropriate for a leader to have these qualities? My lord, human beings are greedy and selfish by nature. A good political leader should also possess these characteristics. Only in this way can he rule society. If a leader acts with emotions and feelings, he or she becomes an unsuccessful leader. We can also think of countries as selfish and greedy people. Countries also have goals and needs. Only a leader with these qualifications can successfully rule his country. You are right. Well, there's one more important question I want to ask you. Should the ruler of the country be a loved one or feared? In my opinion, the ruler should not be cruel, but rather merciful. However, when the time and place come, one should not hesitate to be cruel in order to ensure the integrity and peace of the country. Because the problems in the country make everyone unhappy, but the ruthlessness and cruelty of the ruler make some people unhappy. The ruler should be feared as much as he is loved. However, this is not so easy, so the ruler should choose to be feared between the two options. Because humans are sincere and selfish beings. A beloved ruler is more easily harmed by such people. A feared ruler protects himself from these people, using his cruelty and punitive power. But a good ruler should not suffer the anger and reaction of the people. I understand. I thank you for your important addresses. I will not forget what they said and try to apply them. Thank you, my lord, for asking me for advice.